Wow, that's good. You can definitely taste the difference and taste the purity of it. Hey guys, I got the Ice Spring RCD 100 five stage reverse osmosis countertop system here that I am setting up right now. And I wanna show you guys uh, exactly how to set up, what to expect and uh, how this works. So real quick, the seller sent this to me to review for you guys, but man, I'm, I'm excited about this thing. Uh, you're able to get the reverse osmosis, filtered water, really filters out a thousand contaminants, um, all kinds of awesome reasons to get this thing. You're gonna wanna have it for getting better tasting water, for cleaner tasting water, for baby formula, for hot water on demand, for your coffee, tea, hot chocolate, anything like that. And also you're gonna be able to get your room temperature water for just normal drinking. Uh, and having a having a system like this is just going to be overall amazing and, and life-changing for you. So uh, I wanna show you guys basically what we do to set it up. So you got the device right here. On the back side, you have a 1.3 gallon uh, container right here. All you have to do is grab this handle, lift it out, and then uh, what you have is a little four stage post carbon filter right here. Let's see if you can get that in the light. Post carbon filter right there. All you have to do is pu push that right in there. Super plug and play for this. Then you got your uh, second stage and your third stage. So this is the composite filter and this is an RO membrane. So uh, all these things are working to give you the best water possible. All you have to do is pop off this top, uh, this opens up a little bit and you're going to just twist it in and you can see it lines up. Uh, there's a line right here that you just line it up with, goes right in and snaps into place. Then go ahead and do the other one. Just twist it in, push up and so it lines up. Nope. All right, there you go. So get it to line up. All right, so obviously you wanna do this before turning on the power or anything like that. Uh, but once you do it, all right, and then you want to uh, fill this up with some water here. All right, so we got it filled up to the 1.3 gallons here. We'll go ahead and pop this onto the back, get it installed, close up this lid, and then we'll scoot it over. All right, and this is a very simple process to follow. You got a quick start guide here on the left. Uh, on the side of the uh, machine. You also have uh, scanning. You can also scan a QR code to get the uh, install guide and everything like that, but it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in and get this bad boy up and running. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is the system will initiate a two minute flush sequence automatically. And then we're going to manually flush six to eight tanks of the water before consuming it. So that is going to do that there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over the sink so that we can just run it right into the sink. Okay. All right, so while this is firing up for the first time, right on the left, you got your uh, room temperature button. You got your formula, which basically puts it at uh, 120 degrees. Then you got your coffee at 185 degrees. And then you got your tea at uh, 205 degrees. So those are all in Fahrenheit, obviously. And of course you can use those different for different things. You don't have to use it for formula, coffee and tea, but those are the temperatures that they are set at. So again, this is going to be cycling through and uh, we're going to flush the system six times before actually running it. So I'm gonna come back after I've done that and flush the system. So I did all the flushing and everything for it. Uh, I did it uh, six times, flushed it through the system. And now I, uh, got a water tester that I want to test and compare this uh, to tap water and even I have a uh, fridge right here that has a little water uh, filter in there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up these waters. I won't uh, do any cuts or anything like that just so you can get an idea of what kind of uh, parts per million that we're looking at. So this first one is the tap water. The second one I'm getting from my fridge right here. And just do a quick little rinse with that water and then fill it up a little bit. So this is coming from my uh, fridge filter and um, you know, this filter probably needs to be replaced, but we'll go ahead and 
test it anyways because I've been drinking from it. So uh, tap water, fridge water, and then we got this one. So I'll go ahead and do a quick uh, rinse of it. So stock that. I want to rinse it out with that water so I don't have any other type of water in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some more in there. All right. Now, I'm a little bit closer here. All right. All right, so we got tap water, fridge filter, and the reverse osmosis. So we got zero parts per million. I'm gonna go to the first one. This is uh, tap water, 124. Okay, so I'll shake that off a little bit. And this is the fridge water. Well, let me let me clear it. Clear. Ninety six. Oh. See, does it stay on it? Can you stay? Not saying ninety four. So ninety four. All right. And now. Clear it, and moment of truth, let's see, nine, <laughs> all right, so the only one that was actually under um, the recommendation of the uh, parts per million and everything and purity for that is this one, so I've been drinking um, terrible water, so I actually haven't taken a drink of this yet, so I'm going to take a drink of it, see what it uh, tastes like, and you know, these glasses could be cleaner, so don't judge what it looks like based off of uh, my glasses here. Wow. That's good. You can definitely taste uh, the difference and taste the purity of it. It tastes like, you know, like a bottled water type of water, and it, you can definitely tell. I'm, I consider myself a water snob, I think, and I, I can't stand floor of tap water. I don't even drink it. Even I can even taste the difference though from this and the filtered water coming from the fridge. So super excited about this um, for not only regular drinking water, but also for that quick on demand uh, hot water for, you know, different temperatures, um, coffee, tea, hot chocolate formula, all those things you're able to do. I even think we can do some cooking with it. Uh, you know, my kids like mac and cheese. I can probably start using this to to get some hot water going for, for their mac and cheese. So yeah, I am super excited to have this. Definitely recommend this. Um, and if I didn't mention the sellers did send this to me to review for you guys, but if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next review video. That's good.